technically speaking, te te technically, technically, technically speaking. I ain't talking vegan when I said that I've been eating, making money on the side, but I use it for the main. I'm speaking in code when I tech talk that financial freedom. Have a seat, cause you gon' wanna sit up at my table. Get plugged in that it, girl. I see with the cables, yeah. Network engineering is for you, it ain't no labels, yeah. Shaky with my passion, took a leap, it got me stable, yeah. Now I make a hundred K or better, paper couldn't fit a stapler. And I spend it on my passion, cause I'm capable. Technically speaking, now I'm really talking vegan when I said that I've been eating, I've been technically speaking. Welcome to Technically Speaking, where we help you increase your income through tech. If this video helps you, don't forget to like and subscribe for more ways to boost your tech skills and income. Just a quick introduction to the ones that are new here. My name is Jessica, you can call me Jess, and I am the founder of Technically Speaking. I came from a customer service and a food service worker background, and I broke into tech in 2020 as my first job was a voice network engineer. And it gave me the financial stability I needed. Then I thought, wow, if people could learn tech, they would be able to better their financial situation as well. So here I am. My mission for this lesson is to simplify tech concepts and empower you to succeed. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to our series on the OSI model. Today, we're diving into layer two, also known as the data link layer. This layer is super important because it ensures data can move between different devices on the same network. By the end of this lesson, you'll understand how layer two works and why it is critical in making networks function properly. Let's jump right in. Layer two of the OSI model is all about framing data and ensuring it gets from one device to another on the same network. It handles error detection, organizes data into frames, and uses MAC addresses to make sure data is delivered on to the correct device. The key points here is just to understand that data is organized into frames for transmission and that it uses MAC addresses to identify devices that are on the same network. And it also handles error detection. One of the main jobs of layer two is framing. This means that the data link layer takes raw bits from physical layer and organizes it into frames. These are chunks of data that can be transmitted over a network. To understand layer two, you need to know about MAC addresses. Every device on the network has a unique media access control address or MAC address. This address helps identify where data should go within the network. Now a MAC address is a unique identifier and it's assigned to each network device. At layer two, the most important device is the switch, which uses MAC addresses to determine which device should receive the data. They act like traffic controllers, ensuring that data is sent only to the intended device rather than broadcasting it to every device on the network. Another critical function of the data link layer is error detection. This layer checks the data for errors as it is transmitted. If an error is found, the data is either corrected or retransmitted. The key points here are error detection, which is a technique like CRC, cycle redundancy checks to find errors in data. And then flow control, which is preventing data overload by managing the pace of data transmission. Let's briefly cover some layer two protocols. The most common one you'll come across is Ethernet, which defines how data should be framed and transmitted over wired networks. Another example is Wi-Fi, which is the wireless equivalent. So that wraps up things for layer two, the data link layer. And remember that this layer is responsible for framing data, using MAC addresses to send that data to the correct device and ensuring that data arrives without any errors. It's also the layer where switches operate, which are critical for directing traffic within a local network. That's it for today's lesson on layer two of the OSI model. This layer is essential for making sure data flows smoothly between devices on the same network. 
Thanks for tuning in and be sure to like, subscribe, and drop any questions in the comments below. Stay curious and I'll see you in the next lesson.